Lovable Agent just released, and we're gonna battle test it in this video. First of all, Lovable is taking the world by storm. It's gone from $0 to $1.9 billion valuation in under nine months. Funny enough, I was actually one of the very first people to ever make a video on the product, but they just released something that's very interesting. It is called Agent Mode. In this video, I'm gonna test it out and showcase the key differences so you can understand exactly what it is and how to use it. Without further ado, let's jump into this. All right, so right now we're looking at the user interface of Lovable, but before I actually go ahead and test this out, let's go to their product launch page and actually identify the main changes here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and test them out in this video. So here are the new capabilities through action. So agent mode has access to a series of capabilities. It could search through your code base to locate exact files, functions, or components, read files on demand, inspect logs in network activity to identify and debug errors without you needing to find the errors yourself. And then it actually has the ability to search the web in real time to fetch documentation, content, images, or screenshots needed to complete a task. This is really massive and I'm excited to try it out in this video. This is gonna change the way we build apps using platforms like Lovable. So I'm excited to talk about this. And then it could also generate and edit images for your apps on demand. That's another really cool feature here. So what does agent actually mean? The default version of Lovable tries to do everything in one single step, regardless of the complexity of the task. With this upgrade, Lovable will start to act more like a real developer Developer. So that's very interesting. We obviously want Lovable to act as if it's a full developer. So let's see if we're able to do that in this video. For every user request, it will first interpret what you're trying, what you are asking for, explore the code base as needed, uncover missing context, make the right changes, auto fix issues as they come up and wrap up with a clear summary. So instead of us having to go back and forth with our Lovable you know, prompt here, we should be able to write out what we're trying to build and it should be able to go through and iterate and make changes and actually reason through and think through the best way to perform a task without us having to actually be hands-on with this. And quickly, let's touch on pricing here because this is a big update as well. Agent mode is priced differently from our other models. In our current default in chat mode, each message costs one credit regardless of the complexity of the edit. And then agent mode uses usage-based pricing requests that can cost less than one credit or several credits depending on their complexity. Simple requests may cost less than one credit. So we don't really know how much each of these prompts will actually cost us when it comes to credits. So that'll be interesting to play around with. You can see it actually shows how many credits it used for each different iteration that it makes. All right, now that we understand kind of what the new features are, let's go ahead and battle test it here so we can actually see what's different with it. All right, so here's the prompt that I'm actually going to give Lovable. Let's create an AI tool directory for my YouTube channel called Brock AI for non-techies. So the reason that I actually did this is because this will actually have the ability to go and search on the internet and do research about my YouTube channel to gain context in order to actually build this platform that is gonna be tailored directly to my YouTube audience, which is you guys. From there, the goal is to showcase all the top tools that I talk about on the channel to act as a resource for my audience to leverage AI tools in their lives. So think of this as one single website that has all the different tools that I talk about on my YouTube in order for my audience to actually go and use it as a resource. So the reason I'm doing this use case is because I wanna see if it has the ability to research me and then pull the actual tools that I literally talk about in all of my YouTube videos and put them there. So let's go ahead, let's start with that. I'm gonna click send here and Lovable Agent is now gonna begin going and crafting this for us. Let's quickly talk about what's different right here, right off the bat with Lovable Agent. So right now we could see that it's actually thinking and reasoning through the best way to actually go ahead and tackle this task here. So instead of just getting an immediate response or you know having Lovable just go off and immediately do this, it has to go ahead and actually think through this. So this is really important when we're trying to actually build fully functional applications because it seems great for it to be really quick, but we actually want it to build the full product more so than just giving us a really quick output. First thing I noticed is this has been running for about a minute and a half. So it is taking quite a bit more time than it usually would. But again, this is good because it should give us a, you know, more carefully thought through response and looks like it actually went ahead and gave us a response here. As we could hear our little notification there, let's take a look. All right. So right off the bat, this is actually what it gave us. This is pretty good. However, it doesn't actually show the actual tools that I talk about on my YouTube channel, it might not have understood my initial prompt. So let's just come over to Lovable and just say, I want you to go ahead and research all the top tools I talk about on my YouTube channel over the last two months. And I want you to create a section called Brock's favorite AI tools with all those tools that I showcase on my YouTube video. I'm gonna give that over to Lovable Agent. It's gonna think through again, exactly how to tackle this task. It's gonna go ahead and search on YouTube. Let's take a look. You can see it's now searching. It went ahead and searched my YouTube. That's really 
really cool. The fact that it can actually pull information from the internet, it never was able to do that before. And this gets really interesting when we're trying to actually build in, you know, APIs and actually implement other apps into our own app. So if we're trying to use an app that has an API access, sometimes it's really difficult for us to figure out how that API documentation is set up and you have to go and manually copy paste and give it a lovable. Now it can actually go ahead and scour the documentation in order for it to easily implement the API for different platforms, if that makes sense. All right, so that took maybe a minute or so. And you could see we now have a page here called Brock's favorite AI tools. And these are AI tools personally tested and featured by Brock on his YouTube channel. These are all actually platforms that I have talked about on my channel. So we have Abacus AI chat LLM teams. We have GenSpark AI, which is one of my favorite AI tools. I absolutely love GenSpark. We have Synthflow, which is an AI voice and calling platform. We have Bolt.new, we have Lovable, DataButton, Manus, Google Opal. All of these are different platforms that I've actually covered on my YouTube channel. That feature is actually working now. That's pretty cool. It's able to do that. So I'm going to go ahead. I want to change up the user interface of this platform a little bit. So let me go ahead and do that. All right. So this is pretty cool. I think this user interface looks a bit better than before. It's nothing too crazy, but this is off just our first initial prompts that we gave it. But one thing I really want to mention here to showcase the, you know, kind of capability of agent mode here is if I go ahead and click on one of these, you know, tools, for example, on AI agent, these are the different AI agent tools that I've covered on my YouTube channel, which it went ahead and actually searched for. And if I click on this, it will pull me directly to the video where I actually talk about this platform. So you could see in this video, I talk about GenSpark AI agent, the best AI agent I've ever used. That is really cool. Same thing for Manus. If I click on this, it will take me to a video where I actually use Manus AI. And that is really cool. It's actually pulling real live information. So let me go ahead and make some more changes to our app here. Actually, something I want to mention, I didn't even notice before is it actually breaks down what I talk about in the video. So Brock's favorite AI agent that does everything from researching, from creating presentations to marketing materials all in one productivity powerhouse. That is literally words that it pulled from my YouTube channel. So I'm really impressed so far with Lovable Agent because this adds new capability when we're actually vibe coding with platforms. The fact that it could really search the internet and pull real live information. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to ask it to pull the real logos of the companies that I talk about for each of these. So I'm interested if it'll be able to do that. All right. So on top of that, I said, let's create a futuristic minimalistic logo for AI for non-techies to show at the top of the page along with the headers. So what I'm going to try to do is actually use the image generation capabilities inside of Lovable that it supposedly has now with agent mode and actually generate a logo to put right here at the top of our tool directory. Let's give it that. Now it's going to go through again. It's going to plan the best way to actually go through and execute this plan. And it's going to go off, do this, make the changes it needs to without my back and forth. And we'll be presented with a hopefully pretty good output. All right. It is using a tool called generating image, which is really cool. I wonder how it's doing this. I'd assume it's probably using the 4.0 image generation from ChatGPT. I haven't tested this yet, so I'm pretty interested to see what it's actually going to look like. It could be really bad or it could be good. All right. So after a bit of time, this is actually what it gave us. It went ahead and created this logo here. As you can see, it says AI. It's nothing crazy. It's a very simple logo. Probably use ChatGPT 4.0 image generation to do that. Nothing too wild. But if I come down here, you could see that it actually does not show the, you know, the platform's logos aside from ChatGPT, which it was able to actually pull. I'm not sure if it tried to pull these images, like actual images from the internet by searching for them, or if it was trying to generate them with AI, which it seems like it was actually trying to generate. For whatever reason, that did not work. But let's go ahead and move on and actually try to add a database to our application. And I want to see how simple this is using Lovable Agent compared to, you know, the normal Lovable. So I'm just going to come over to Ask Lovable here and say, let's go ahead and now add a database to our application. Basically, I want to be able to submit an AI tool. And once that is submitted, I want it to actually store in the entire app and always show that tool, even if I refresh the application. So let's go ahead and send that off. I feel like I know what's going to happen. It's going to probably prompt me to set up Superbase, or it actually might go ahead and set up Superbase for me, which would be new in, in the Lovable agent. Looks like a thought for five seconds to add database functionality. You'll need to connect your Lovable project to Superbase. So let me go ahead and just click on Superbase here. I'm going to connect it to my Superbase account. All right. So I went ahead and actually connected my Superbase account. That was extremely simple. So let me go ahead and looks like I actually don't have the ability to add a tool. So I'm just going to come over here and say, let's add the ability to add an AI tool to store on our tool directory. So now it's going ahead, writing all this fancy code here, actually creating the rules for my database in order for this to work. Looks like I could actually just apply the changes should be good to go and running now actually looks like it just caught an error without me actually having to go and, you know, find 
behind that. So that's pretty interesting. Looks like the security issue is now fixed and it's gonna go ahead and begin implementing this and creating this database. All right, so went ahead, add the database. It ran into multiple errors, but it caught the errors before me even actually having to try and you know tell it to fix itself. So that's great. I guess the agent is doing its thing and I'm gonna come here. Let's just come and just say, you know, add a tool. Let me go ahead and add all this and we'll come back to this. All right, so I added the tool. You can see ChatGPT is inside of my Superbase now. That is great. And now we have it added to our database that Lovable was able to actually just build for us. All right, so now that we tested the power of Lovable Agent, let's go ahead and check the amount of credits that have been used to see actually, you know, how cost efficient this is. All right, so if I come over to my credits, you can see I have 91.7 of my 130 credits left based on the plan that I'm on. So it looks like I have 130 credits per month and I simply used Lovable just for this video. All right, so let's actually go ahead and calculate how many credits I used for this video. So 130 minus 91.7. So it looks like I used actually 38 credits. That's pretty interesting. So hopefully that gives you an understanding of how lovable agent actually utilizes your credit since the credit system is a bit different since it actually has to go ahead and you know go through reasoning and searching the internet and it actually uses credits in order to do that instead of just like one credit per one response if that makes any sense. All right guys, there you have it. That is lovable agent. If you guys wanna try out lovable, there is a link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content content like this. If you want to learn AI as a non-techie, I cover it all on this channel. With that being said, guys, thank you for staying to the end. See you in the next video.